Having recently undergone a £37 million refurbishment, the Royal Commonwealth Pool was a fitting venue for Team GB's final training session. With 44 members, it's the largest swimming squad Britain has ever assembled for an Olympic Games, and much is expected of its members, especially with a home crowd behind them. We're as well or better prepared than, than we've ever been in the last four years. Uh, I, I think we've been uh, uh, progressing and, and working toward this. I'm very uh, optimistic that, that we're going to have uh, a very good Olympics relative to our, our personal best performances. And uh, I think if we do that, that we're going to be, be in the race for the podium on, uh, in a number of events. And uh, I can't predict how many medals that's, that's going to turn out to be, but our focus is just on executing the perfect race plan for every athlete in every event. And if we come close to achieving that, then, then I think the medals will take care of themselves. One of Britain's brightest medal hopes is Michael Jameson, originally picked for the 200 metres breaststroke, He'll now compete in the 100m breaststroke as well, following an injury to a teammate. Having trained at the University of Edinburgh's Elite Sports Centre, Jameson, who took silver at the Commonwealth Games two years ago, is relishing his return to the Scottish capital for these final preparations. For me, it is familiar surroundings, a familiar environment, you know, one that I'm comfortable in. And, um, you know, I think that has been pretty calming, and the fact that you know, we've had, uh, we've had the venue to ourselves as well, it's been quiet, you know, it's been relaxed and I think it's helped the team. The 100 metres breaststroke brings Michael up against Craig Benson, winner of three gold medals at the Commonwealth Youth Games. The 18-year-old will start his academic studies at Edinburgh in the autumn. Yeah, I'm going to be studying accountancy and finance, possibly part-time just to make it a bit easier for, so obviously, swimming such a high demand in sport and the amount of time you put in so yeah I'm really looking forward to starting in autumn. I think we've got the best team we've ever had here and um, not only that we've got the home crowd, uh, home support and I think that's going to be a huge advantage to everyone on the team so yeah I definitely think we should do better than uh, last time round. And for both Michael and Craig hopes within the camp are high. Well they're, they're both in the hunt that's for sure it's uh, uh, Craig just did a, a stand-up swim in, in, uh, uh, in training yesterday that was uh, a second under his training PB, so he's obviously fit and ready to go. Michael's getting ready to do one right now, and he's looking good, so uh, you know, they're, they're both uh, uh, in the hunt for, for, uh, to be competitive with, with, uh, with the best in the world in another week's time. You know, we're all told to you know try and keep perspective. At the end of the day, it's you know it's another swim meet, and it's one that we've done a hundred times. Um, so you know I'm racing the same events I usually do at a major international, and um, you know as long as I keep reminding myself of that, you know stay relaxed and you know remember all the work I've put in, then you know I should should be in good stead to to swim best times. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.